Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sweetcast. I am Clint, and I wanted to talk about pitching a comic today, and that's because I have such a great example to show you about pitching a comic. Now, before we get into the comic pitching, I wanted to do a little bit of an update on uh, my own comic book, Downcast. So a lot of you are very honest, and you told me that the little design that I did, uh, started messing around with, didn't look very good. And I'll show that to you here. And yeah, I agree. It, it, something is just missing. And part of this is that I am not a gra graphic designer. I know how to use Photoshop um, and I can have fun with it, but it's not my strong suit. But look at this. This looks so much better. Um, it's the kind of simple graphic, simple title logo uh, that I like. I've seen a lot of comics that have just very simple ones. Uh, but at the same time, it looks unique. It gives you that feeling of going down and, and actually to the right, which is awesome for a comic because that's where you want the reader's eyes to go anyway for them to continue reading the, that comic. Now, I wish I was this amazing. I'm not. I did not design this. Uh, who did design it? Well, Illustrator Monk designed this. Um, I didn't even ask for, for help there. Um, I just sort of put it out into the world and he actually went and designed it for me. And so I do want to, to give Illustrator Monk a shout out. And if you're interested in seeing just some fantastic art, I would suggest go follow uh, Illustrator Monk. It's at Illustrator Monk on Twitter. And just briefly, if you look through the media files, uh, like there's so, so many great sketches, so many. I think, I think uh, Illustrator Monk was participating in Inktober. Um, but yeah, you look through these and lots of great fan art, lots of just great art. So if you want to see good stuff on Twitter um, for once, uh, yeah, follow Illustrator Monk on Twitter. I, I'm i very, very pleased with even just looking at uh, his sketches, but I'm especially happy about this. He gave me the Illustrator file for it, and yeah, we're we're going to use it. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So a creator named Preston Poulter reached out to me and asked me to review his comic, um, White Lily. Now, I don't review comics on YouTube. It's not my thing. There's so many people that do great reviews, uh, but I like to take my own little spin at it. And so I, he gave me the first two issues of White Lily, and it was it was pretty fun. It was a fun read. I've heard that doing a car chase in a comic book is one of the hardest things for an illustrator to do. Now this isn't a car chase, but this is an airplane chase. And the thing I liked about it so much is the panel layout and it gets more interesting as you go. It's like the cockpit is the panel. So yeah, I just thought that was a really creative idea. The cockpit windows, you're looking out and those become the panels. And that really did for me a really good job of conveying that there's, there's a chase going on. So it was a really fun, uh, the, the thing that I like about it as well, and I'm going to show you some other art here. This is for issue number two of White Lily. Not only is it excellent artwork, but it's also historical. It's a historical fiction, but it is based on a real person and uh, I guess real experiences based on a true story. And so what, sometimes you want to take a break. I don't know if it's just me. I want to take a break from superhero comics and reading something that is historical is always fun for me. And so if, yeah, if you're interested in it, check it out. I thought it was pretty neat. Preston hasn't yet uh, launched this Indiegogo campaign, but I wanted to go through it and show it to you because and it's actually la launching on Monday. But I wanted to go through it because uh, this is, I'm, I'm getting some pointers here on when I want to do my own Indiegogo or if you are considering doing yours. This is a really well done pitch. So he's got a video. He's got a lot of really great art. Um, including for prints. I believe these are for prints. I know this one is a print. It looks really cool. And something that he, he did, and this is a yeah variant cover, looks cool. Um, yeah, we should watch the video, but something you'll notice, I'll, pa I'll pause as we watch this pitch video. Um, he's trying to give people something to latch onto so they understand the story in a quick bite. So this is the, the crowdfunding video that he's got, and let's just take a look through it and I'll make some comments. 
I'm writer and creator Preston Poulter, the one who brought you White Lily, the story of the two deadliest female fighter pilots in history. And judging by the reaction I get from fans at the comic shows I do, my next story is going to be even bigger. Okay, so first off, he's establishing credibility. And, like, I've seen the credibility because I looked at those first two comics. They're really well done. Um, Yeah, so, so he sort of sets the stage. Now he's going to pitch the new story. Guinevere and the Divinity Factory. Our story opens with Guinevere, who's an apprentice wizard entering a palatial estate. There's a massive flapper party going on, but she's not here for the party. She's here to meet the patron wizard, the master of the house, Francis Gatz. Imagine combining Harry Potter and the Great Gatsby, and you get an idea of the world that results. In- okay, so this is something that happens in pitches a lot, and I know when I, uh, it, I pitched a couple comics to Image Comics, Um, it's something that they like to hear. And that is you pick two different things. In this case, it was Harry Potter and the great Gatsby. And most everybody knows what Harry Potter and the great Gatsby are. And so you combine those together and you can already get a a picture of what it is, uh, that the story's about. So when you're making your comic script or you're preparing your pitch, this is a really good idea. Think about what other things are out there and that'll help people get an idea of it very quickly. Guinevere and the Divinity Factory. To help bring this story to life, I commissioned Juliet Keita, whose likeness I used for the character of Guinevere, together with her husband Nathan, in order to act out the two lead roles in the opening scene of the comic book, set to the music of Big Bad Voodoo Daddy in a music video. We have some wonderful perks for people who back our crowdfunding campaign. We've got the comic book, we've got the music video, we've got fantastic art. I've commissioned a variant cover. It's beautiful. It's only available to people who back this crowdfunding effort. I look forward to all of my returning customers, as well as the many new ones that I'm going to meet. So, yeah, making videos doesn't always come easy to everybody, especially if you're into making comics. Uh, But it can certainly be helpful. But definitely some of the techniques that he used there, you would certainly want to employ in just pitching your comic. So if I'm to apply this knowledge and this uh, this angle with my my own comic, I would say Downcast is a mix between Death Note and Final Fantasy VII. Now the problem with that is that it those aren't so mainstream. Maybe in comics, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Are those broad enough that everybody knows what they are? Um, so you'd know the story, or do I need to need to pick? two different things that are a little bit more broad and more recognizable. Um, If I thought about it, I'm sure I could think of two other concepts, two other stories that are out there that are uh, more widely known that people would hear and and get a good, fast idea as to what the story's about. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe because it really helps me out. I want to build this channel up. And let me know of other ideas you have or other things that you would like to see videos on as well. Uh, That's always helpful. Thank you. I'll see you next time.